War, the American Civil War, has reached a climax. With battles being won and lost by both sides, it will soon come to an end. There was one strategy that ended the war. This is Total War. Ulysses S. Grant was promoted in 1864 by President Lincoln. Now the responsibilities was on Grant to find a way to end the war. Grant studied many strategies, but wanted to find a way to end the war in one quick, simple move. And one general gave him that very idea. He was General Sherman. General Sherman's plan was simple, effective, and straightforward. The plan was just to destroy all useful resources to the South, from forts, to houses, to weapons, supplies, and armories. Sherman was going to destroy everything. Nothing was going to stop him from completing his goal to succeed in total war. So, we know that Grant has a plan now from his General Sherman. So, his plan is bold and hard at the same time. How is he going to transport all that men, weapons, and supplies across such a large distance? Well, he had a lot of helping hands, if you ask me. He had horses and men help him all over to get all these supplies moved so quickly. That would give um, General Sherman and General Grant their upper advantage in fight because they didn't expect them to get there so quickly. So, what is Grant's biggest problem? Well, his problem is the defending general. He is one of the boldest and best the United States has ever had. His name is Robert E. Lee. The battle was about to begin. Preparations from Grant's army was going well. They loaded up weapons preparing to attack the unaware Confederate army. This attack on Richmond, Virginia would be the biggest battle of the Civil War. This would determine who would win the Civil War. The battle had begun. The defending general, General Lee, was doing well in the battle, but General Grant's forces were ruthlessly destroying everything in their path. With the Confederacy having little supplies, the battle was evened out, from the Union Army to the Confederacy. The Civil War had ended. Grant's forces were able to successfully storm the capital city of the Confederacy of Richmond, Virginia. The Civil War came to a close, and General Lee signed a treaty with Ulysses S. Grant. The United States was won again. Shiny metallic purple armor, green jealousy envy waits behind him. Her fiery green gown snares at the grassy ground. 